you can't mix what you can't hear. So if I'm using a pair of headphones that's got no low end extension and I cannot hear the subwoofer, I can't hear the 40 hertz, 50 hertz, 60 hertz range, you know, and below, I'm not going to be able to mix an 808. I'm not going to be able to mix the kick properly with a really, really low synth. I'm not going to hear what's really happening. So that way, when I get into other environments in the world, and it sounds like shit, I won't have been able to catch that and fix it prior to that happening. So how do we fix this issue? Well, if you're not going to spend the money to make your room, I wouldn't say perfect sounding, but somewhere between dry and dead <coughs> to the point where no frequencies are really disrupting your ability to hear clearly. And that could be in the low end. It's most often in the low end when people start adding like a subwoofer to their NS10s or their small speakers. Most often that thing's just going to add a lot of mud in the low end and the clarity is going to be vague at best throughout the whole thing. So to avoid that, I recommend using some sort of headphones that gives you the ability to basically isolate what you're hearing. So now all of a sudden you're hearing only the headphones. Okay, now just find a pair of headphones where when you make moves, they actually sound good in the headphones and then good in real life. I understand there's going to be some guessing and checking here and there, but if you make moves to mix and they don't sound good anywhere but your room, you're fucked. What you do in the room should be make stuff sound as good as you can possibly make to you. You shouldn't need to be doing an equation in your head every time you make a mix decision. That equation should be non-existent. You should be able to say, when this sounds good here, it sounds good everywhere. But in order for that to happen, you need to be using first a pair of speakers or monitors that gives you the full frequency spectrum. Then you have to be able to get used to whatever it is. You'll get used to it if you use it enough. If you use it enough on enough different songs, don't get stuck on the same song forever. But if you use it enough on enough different songs, you will develop an understanding of what you, of what your speakers, your monitors sound like. You'll develop an understanding of what the right amount of low end is, the right amount of everything to make things sound good in other places. Because you're going to combine this knowledge with the spectrum analysis, the, the fucking... The, the shit with the graphs, the, you know, like I have the TC Electronics one here, but the PAZ analyzer, any kind of spectrum anal analysis where you could look at what's going on with the frequency spectrum. Fab Filter has it built into their plugin. There's a number of them. We're not selling anything. The point is, any of these things will tell you what's going on. And if you combine that information with the information you get from doing your own tests, like I described, then you'll really have something. You can't be using a pair of headphones where everything needs to suck in the headphones for it to be good. Perfect. Everything sounds like shit. Mix must be done. <laughs> That's never going to work, man. You got a better way to do it. You tell me what it is. Because in my opinion, once I realized that, okay, it sounds like shit in my room and now it sounds great in the world, I realized I need to make my room sound good. I learned it a long time ago. We need to do everything we can. Make this room sound good. And then I go to the car, it sounds great. Or let's say there's still lack of bass. Well, look at what you can do for bass traps because a lot of times bass frequencies will cancel each other out, give you less bass. Move your speakers. Maybe they're too close to the wall. They're too close to a corner. They're too far from you. They're too close to you. They're too high. They're too low. All of these things matter. The more you move them around, you'll get to a point where it will match the world. All right? It will match everything else in the world. And what that means is that you've leveled out your playing field and made it where now when you hear a problem in the car, you'll be able to hear the same problem in the studio and you'll be able to fix it. You'll be able to hear it in real time as you turn the knob. Otherwise, you're flying blind. You're sitting in the car. You're making a list of mixed tweaks like we've done a million times. You come back in the room. If you can't hear those same problems in your mix room, on your mixing desk, when you are making the... You, you're looking at your list of tweaks, but you can't hear any of those issues. In the car, it was this, and now in here, you're like, I can't hear that as a problem. In the car, the, this was too loud, and now this, it's not even there. And everywhere, six other places, this is too loud. And in my room, I can't even hear it. Well, fix that first, or you're screwed forever. So you might as well work on fixing that. 
And that means different headphones, moving the speakers, solve that problem. It sounds like a lot of work. As soon as you start doing this, though, you'll be able to get mixes you fucking love. Trust me. This is, a, this is it. You got this. You're on the way. You're on the way. You're on the way. <laughs>